In this video, I'm going to be covering five things that are likely to come to Greenville in the near future. First off on the list here, we have trailers. I'm talking about semi-truck trailers, camper vans, everything and anything that fits into the category. If trailers like the U-Haul trailers that you usually see on vehicles were added to the game, it is likely semi-trucks would come right after them as it would be the same components and it would also be much easier for the developers to make. Moving on, we have mini maps. This is very needed. The map on, on Greenville is huge. As you can see, I have this map here on screen. I'll put the link to this down in the description. Regardless, unless you play the game for a long time, it is unlikely you're going to know where everything is, and this can be very confusing. I know, and especially for newer players, this would be helpful. And if I hadn't mentioned before, everything here is confirmed to come by Vargas himself. It's most likely this is going to come with the FD revamp. But it was said that house fires are going to be added to the game, like automatically that FT can respond to, so they actually have a job. Because as we all know at the moment, it's no use except for roleplay. Now this is something everybody I'm sure would love to come to the game. I think the map needs more diversity. I get that it's more off of the real life one, but I think creativity could also be something important. What I'm talking about here is the addition of more bodies of water, like maybe a river, and a bridge that comes with it, and even boats. That could be a huge part. I really think all of that is needed, especially if the game wants to take more of a roleplay aspect, as at the moment, it seems to be more of a driving game. Speaking of map diversity, Barkus said that campsites were going to be added, and this would actually be pretty nice, especially if it were to come with the trailer update. Because not gonna lie, it'd be pretty nice to have a camper trailer or something like that to take to a brand new campsite. So something we all know of is how games like Emergency Response have private servers that anybody can create and anybody can join easily right off of the game. And in Greenville, this has been hinted with user created. But it's only a hint and you cannot do it yet. The only way to create servers in-game are with the official Oralplay server. Hopefully you all enjoyed that little sneak peek into the future, and with that, I'll see you in the next one.